George, if you just show your award up, that's being awarded a Stuart Pearce Shield, Junior Stones Player of the Season. And you also won Players Player as well. That must have been an honour, not just to win that from the young fans, but to win the award from your teammates voting for you as well. Yeah, no, as, as I said, as I said inside, it's been an absolute pleasure this season. Both, both the fans, as I mentioned in there, they've been unbelievable with me through the ups and downs. They've, they've cheered my name, whatever. So I've got a massive, massive appreciation towards them. The players, ever since day one, have been, um, been amazing with me. Brought me in and, and took me under their wings. Some of the older lads, Alex Dyer, the, the skipper, Cookie, they've been incredible with me in my first year of men's football. So I've got a lot of, lot of thanks to them as well. And then, and then the, the staff as well, both Matt, Stu, Jace, Craig. I've got a lot of thanks to them, them as well. I think it's, it's a big risk, as you know, in this league to bring in a, a young goalkeeper as the majority would pick an experienced one. But I like to think that I've repaid their faith and, and hopefully, they've, hopefully they can carry on and, and more and more young goalkeepers like myself can be trusted at this level to, to come and do, do a job. And I mentioned this to Connor as well when I did his award. Um, do you feel like you're going back to Fulham a better player? Oh, without a doubt, I think. I knew last year that the next progression for me was, was to come and play, play at men's football at a high level, which is exactly what I've done and, and I think I, I'm in a much, much better position than I was playing 23's football at Fulham. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's been amazing for me and I've only got good, good things to say about this year. Even with the ups and downs, it's a massive learning curve, so, yeah, it's, it's been amazing. You say ups and downs, but we're only going to do positives. So what's, what's been the highlight of this season? It's tough to choose. Personally, probably... Probably South End, just purely because of the penalty save and the, the result in the end and, and the day itself on a bank holiday. The fans again were brilliant. Then, then as a club, it's got to be Barnet away. I think that stands out. There were 800, 850 odd there, and yeah. they were singing the whole game. Remember the so. scenes at the end with yourself, limbs oh, everywhere. In, incredible, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was incredible. So yeah, personally South End, but as for a club and for the fans, definitely Barnet away. Okay, well, thank you for your time here, George, and uh, best of luck with your future. No, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank Cheers. you very much. Uh, show us your award, Connor. You won the. Uh, Stones cast player of the season. Um, yeah, so the lads who do the, uh, the podcast have, have voted for you as their player of the year. Uh, did you expect to be winning awards like this when you made the loan move initially? Because it was only for a month originally. Yeah, that's what. I, when I first joined, I didn't know what to expect really. I didn't even know if I'd be playing. Um, came in and started well, pretty much every game that I've been available. Um, and that's just like, thanks to Stuart and Matt for trusting me and like, bringing me in. Um, obviously done well, like, worked hard, and that's that's the bait that's like the minimum I was going to give is 100. percent I worked hard anyway, and the fact that I learned a lot and played well, um, yeah, I got this reward. So. Have, you, have you got everything you wanted to get out of your loan spell here, then? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, like, playing every week. That's that's all I can ask for, really. And like the fans, playing in front of those fans, away and home. It's just, like, an experience I've never had before and I've obviously learned from it and take it away with me the rest of my journey. So. You feel like you're going back to Fulham a better player? Definitely, yeah, definitely. And uh, so you won the podcast, have you listened to the podcast this I, season? I'm, I actually do listen to it, yeah. Oh, Mate, well my, done. To be fair, my dad listens to every episode. Oh, well, then at least he's, they've not been slagging you off yeah, on yeah, there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, well done, Connor, Thank and uh, best of luck for your future as well. Thank you. Cheers. Well, Josh, you finished the season as a uh, golden boot winner. you just shot up to the camera there? Yeah. Lovely, that's real gold. That's 16 gold. They showed 15 on the camera, but you got, you're up. Another one today. Uh, any favourites in them? Uh, probably the Eastley at home. Eastley at home. Um, that's probably one. Yeah, that's probably one of my most favourites. You was on the bench that day. Did you come on angry and a point to prove? Was He's it? always angry. Uh, I'm not always angry. But I always feel like I've got a point to prove. Um, Whenever I'm playing, so I just want to score goals, really. So yeah, just happy to get a goal. Similar to what I just asked Cookie, when you made the move from Torquay to here in the summer, did you um did you expect you'd notch this many in one season? Um, I think you always think it's a possibility. Like, um, as a striker, you think you can score goals, really. Um, but obviously, credit to the gaffer and um, Matty and Craig for giving me the opportunity to actually. Um, play games and actually score goals, so yeah, I'm grateful for that opportunity. Perfect, well well done Josh, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, Jaden, you just lift up your award there for goal of the season, uh, if you just want to talk us through the goal, it's your first goal in senior football as well, uh, yeah, how did it go in? I'm still trying to work out myself, I mean, play the one-two, Med got it back on the turn and just hit it. It went in, so top corner, top complain. And Derby Day as well, what a day to score your first senior goal as well. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that one was for the fans. The fans loved it. So, can't complain. Derby Day win. 
Yeah, it's nothing better than that. Well, well done and congratulations on the award. That's voted for by the fans as well on social media, so that must must be good to get. Uh, well, you know, the public have spoken. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's good to know that they think it was as good as I thought it was. So, All right. yeah. Thank you. Cheers, Jake. Nice one. Cheers, Lovely. Man. Thank you. Well, Jack, that's uh, you won the fans player of the season. I've seen a lot of famous names on that trophy, such as you know Stuart Pearce and and things like that. It must be quite an honour to win that. Yeah, it's, I'm, I would. I don't want to be biased and say it's the best award to win, <laughs> but it's great to be appreciated by all the fans and um, you know you give everything for them. So to them to recognise you, it's a great achievement. And any highlights this season for yourself personally? I think it's been loads. I think there's been loads of incredible wins. Um, some big scouts that we've had here, teams that we're not supposed to beat, but we've done really well. Um, but winning beating Barnet twice is obviously a massive achievement and good to get one over your local rivals. So yeah, there's been plenty of highlights. And then when you made the move from uh, Wokings here in the summer, did you expect this season would go this well for you and the team? No, I didn't. I, I didn't know what to expect. I was coming to a new environment, new team. Didn't know anyone else joining apart from Cooks that was later on in the season. So um, it's always daunting joining a new team, but everyone made me feel welcome and I think that just showed in the team of ours that we built and yeah, able to get good results. Perfect. Cheers, Cheers for